Okay, take a big breath in. The grim image of tuberculosis now made grimmer by a new report by the World Health Organization. And it shows that things are worse than what we had anticipated. The WHO says last year, 1.8 million people worldwide died from the disease. That's up 20% from earlier estimates. The prognosis is a setback to the goal of the United Nations to cut worldwide TB deaths 90% by 2030 and overall TB cases by 80%. One challenge, drug-resistant TB. The WHO reports only one in five who need treatment is getting it. Tanwa Ogo says she is one of the fortunate ones. I'm lucky to be here in America because I have access to the medication. But those people living in other underdeveloped countries, they don't have the access to the medication. So they need to make the medication accessible to the poor people who are having this disease. But treatment can be costly and leave her with side effects requiring constant monitoring. I have to go for periodic hearing test, vision testing, and my kidney, because of the toxicity of some of the antibiotics, so I have to go for my kidney testing as well. Unlike diseases like malaria, TB is not confined to mostly poor countries. The WHO says six nations account for 60 percent of the world's TB cases. India has the most, followed by Indonesia and China. Though many governments provide most of TB funding, they can often struggle for additional money. And because TB has been around for centuries, it's not always on the world's radar. Tuberculosis, you can find it in mummies. Being such an old disease creates a sense of, well, not the crisis urgency that you saw with HIV. Right now, uh, we're using chisel and hammer technology when we should have been using power tools. Moving forward, the WHO says the international community must invest more through funding and resources and do it quickly. The suffering is very real. Francis Coe, CCTV, Washington.